Hmm. I think a good poem breaks rules, uh, is playful. Um, I think a good poem can be very different sort of poems. And that's one of the things that I like with poesy. <laughs> I don't think there's so much difference between young readers and adults in the way a poem should work. Um, I think it's just as important that the poem is is good literature, is using the language in playful ways, is um, handing out or making friends with the reader and makes the reader feel less alone. I think it's the same, same things that make a good poem for both adults and young readers, yes. I think that actually is very important. <laughs> that it is. Mm. I struggled a lot uh, learning to read and write when I was a kid. Um, so poetry was my way into literature because it was so short. So I could struggle through the small lines and, and get a lot of thoughts and get a lot of um, recognition reading it. And to me, that was very, very important. Um, when I think back, I. I was lucky because I had parents reading to me and an older sister reading to me when I wasn't able to read very fast myself. Uh, but even so, the first time I took down a poetry book from the bookshelves in my home, it was a Norwegian poet uh, called Thor Jonsson. And he is a poet, he's dead now, but he's a poet writing about death and and desire to die and, and quite, quite heavy poems. And I was a quite happy <laughs> child. Um, but still, the first time I read a poem by Thor Jonsson myself, I still remember where I stood in the stair staircase uh, up to my room. I remember how the light fell through the window. It was, it was a very important moment for me. And when I think back, I don't really know what I understood about it because it was, it was adult poems. But still, it made a huge impression. And that's when I started reading poetry. So I read poetry a lot, but mostly because novels were so many words. <laughs> so, and, but now I read, of course, novels as well. But yeah, that was, that was what poem, poesy was to me when I was a kid. I write poetry because I can't help myself. <laughs> I just have to, actually. Um, I can't. Um, it's not possible to stop <laughs> to write poetry. Uh, and I also write poetry because I actually think it is very, very important and very necessary to both people and language. And um, I write poetry because I always find there's so many things in life, most things in life are hard to find words for. And when I struggle with language and finally makes a poem or a po poem, it feels like a relief because finally I got to say something that I've been struggling <laughs> with saying for a long time. So, yeah, those are some of the reasons, anyway. Everywhere, everywhere. There's no place you can't get ideas from, even <laughs> dreams awake, um, just everyday life, mm, mostly those things, yes. <laughs> None of this is easy, and both is easy. <laughs> it, it's, sometimes it's really easy to write both of 
those genres and sometimes it's very hard. Uh, it's no difference there, but it uses different sides of me writing a novel or writing poesy and um, to me it's like moving in different ways. You dance, you dance hip hop and you dance ballet <laughs> or you run or you just walk with a friend. It's different, different expressions but still still very much the same. You can mix them as well. Well, as I told you, to me, it was a very specific <laughs> reason why that poetry was different for me to read. I think... Sometimes... Well, a good poem often makes um, a huge space or huge room where, where the reader can fill his own, um, his or her own feelings or own expressions in. And maybe sometimes, anyway, um, poesy has a larger room than some novels anyway, <laughs> but to me the difference aren't that important. It's the importance uh, lies that it's the literature should be, I think, open for as many genres as possible and that is important. Mm. quite popular actually. Uh, it doesn't get published that much. We had um, big Norwegian poets writing a lot for young children quite, quite some years ago. Inger Hagrup and uh, Andrea Bjerke, they wrote a lot of poetry for young readers and then there's been quite a gap. Uh, and now the last years there's been published more poetry for young readers again. Uh, and it's been quite a lot read, and that makes me happy, <laughs> anyway, it does. Mm. It was actually my publisher asking me to write Night Guard. I never thought I could write poetry for kids, because um, there's a say, saying that kids' poetry should be fun, and how much I would like to be fun, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. So I, I answered my publisher, yeah, um, no, I can't do that. And he said, yes, you can do that. And I said, oh, but I can't be funny. And he said, okay, you just do what you want. And then he uh, called Stian Hula, who made the illustrations, and we wrote the book. Uh, together, actually. We mailed each other every day. Uh, I mailed him a po poem and asked him to make this or that scene and he m maybe made what I was asking for or something different and sent it back to me. And then that made me think of something else and writing a new poem. And that was how Nattevakt um, was written. So it was, a, it was something Stian and me did together. Mm. And we had a lot of fun. <laughs> we did. <laughs> I chose Inger Christensen alphabet uh, because it is one of the most beautiful poetry books I know of. And if I need comfort or if I feel alone or if I need to feel stronger. <laughs> I always read Alphabet. Mm, it's, it's, a very, it's a very strong and very comforting um, poetry book and I've read it for many, many, many years and I never get finished with it. 